these are the three accessory gauges I've installed into my Vito. Uh, I do quite a, a number of long road trips in this vehicle. I've driven across Australia a couple of times and um, also right up into the northwest. So I like to know what's going on with my engine. So I have a, a boost gauge there on the left and an oil temperature gauge in the middle and a coolant temperature gauge on the right. Um, what I'd like to do is to monitor the oil temperature of both the engine and the transmission but I don't really have the room to put another oil temp gauge in. It starts getting a little bit busy whereas I think that actually looks quite neat. Uh, you can purchase a um, three gauge holder in the standard DIN size um, very cheaply out of Hong Kong or somewhere like that so that, that's what I've done in this case and they just take the standard 52 millimeter gauges so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install uh, another sensor into the oil feed line out of the transmission um, and then uh, the, currently the oil gauge is connected up to a sensor in the sump uh, plug of the engine. I just um, yeah, purchased a, a sump plug and drilled a hole in it, hole in it and tapped a 1 8 NPT thread in it and, and put the sensor in that and that's been working fine. The engine oil tends to run between 60 and 70 degrees centigrade. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll, I'm going to put a, this sensor on the transmission as well and then I'll put a switch. I've got an on-on switch so I can then switch the feed uh, to the gauge uh, from either sensor so it'll either be one or the other. Um, and I can put that switch uh, you know, just here under the other switch that I put in for the driving lights. I'll put a switch there and I'll have it up for the engine and down for the transmission. So I'll show you what I have in mind. I've, um, uh, I'm going to make a fitting on my little lathe uh, to connect onto the banjo fitting uh, for the feed line to the oil cooler. Hopefully this might give you a few ideas. The, the standard uh, dash on the Vito doesn't really give you much information. Uh, you know, and certainly engine coolant would be, would be a handy thing to have, but for some reason uh, we don't get that, which I don't understand. I would have thought that uh, would be almost a given. Uh, so that's why I put the other three gauges in. And you know, they work fine and they look really good, I think. I'm making up a fitting here on my mini lathe to take an oil temperature sensor that I'm going to add to one of the banjo line fittings on the transmission, probably the, um, the line that goes from the transmission to the oil cooler. So this uh, is going to be 14 millimetres thick and about 24 millimetres diameter with a 14 millimetre hole through the middle of it. I've purchased a double banjo bolt. Now I think you can see what I'm getting up to here. So now I'm going to drill an 8.7 millimetre hole at right angles uh, through to the centre for 11.32nd and tap it with a 1.8 NPT thread. So I've screwed a brass uh, fitting into my alloy collar that I made. So the double banjo goes through that and then the temperature sensor is screwed into the end of that. It's actually a T-piece so I've um, blanked that other one off but I could possibly put a pressure sensor there at some later stage. There's the oil sensor uh, thermist uh, that's in place in the sump. And as you can see I've got a bit of insulating foam wrapped around it which I've found gives a more accurate reading. I'll just follow this over here. There's there's the oil feed line to the oil cooler with the banjo bolt. So 
that's where I'm going to install this fitting. I'm going to undo that with a 19mm socket and I'll catch the ATF that comes out uh, so I can measure the quantity then I'll just put that back in again. Now there's a bit more coming out now that I've uh, probably loosened it about halfway. So there you go, I've put on my double banjo bolt with the special fitting that I made up. There's the temperature sensor there. So now I've already pulled the wire harness through so I'll connect that up. Okay, so I've connected the wiring harness up and just cable tied that to the oil feed line that goes back up into the vehicle. I'll pull it up in behind uh, the gauges. I've already got the cable inside the car. So I'll just put a bit of insulation foam around the that fitting. Yeah. Okay, that's all done now. I'll put some insulation around it, all the wires cable tied neatly. Yeah, that's all the ATF I collected after undoing the banjo bolt. It's only 25 mils. Hardly worth uh, putting 25 mils in, but I will. Here's the cable uh, running from the sensor um, into the vehicle. I've, what I did was I drilled a hole through a plastic fitting in here and I've pushed, the, pushed all the cables through from the engine bay there with the gauges on it and also with the trim tool here I removed removed this surround it just unclips so I just pulled that off and I'm going to put the little switch just here I've pushed a piece of coat hanger wire through from where the gauges are down to down to there and I can tie the cable to it and just pull it through. I've pulled the cable through. That all went so the uh, white wire that I've cut there, that's the uh, white sensor wire coming from the engine oil temperature sensor. So uh, what I'm going to do is um, that white wire will go to one pole of the switch and this is the white sensor wire from the transmission so that will go to another pole of the switch and then the center pole of the switch will come back to this wire here and go into the gauge. Okay I've just finished all the connections. The uh, middle wire is the common pole so the white wire on the top there is coming in from the sensor on the transmission and the bottom wire there is the sensor coming in from the um, engine oil sensor. So the position that the switch is in at the moment is connecting the engine oil sensor with the pole in the middle. So it'll be sending the signal from the uh, engine to the gauge and then if I flick the switch the other way then it'll send the signal from the transmission sensor to the gauge. So I've finished all the wiring now so I've just got to put it back together. So I've already drilled a hole just there. So this will be going through the hole there. I'll bolt that in so I'll do all that and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, there's the completed project. I even put some little labours there. I'll just turn them on for you so you can see the opening ceremony. These are stepper motor gauges, they're quite good. So when you turn the lights on they go amber. During the day they're white and they have an alarm on them as well so you can set uh, an alarm for it to start flashing um, and beeping as well if you like when it gets to a certain level. I've just taken this for a, quite a lengthy drive. Uh, you can see the oil temperature in the engine is about 74 degrees and then I can flick it onto the transmission and that's about oh, 66 degrees. So it works really well. So it's wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off.